Hey everyone, so we are in full swing of summer now, so I thought it would be a great time to kind of do a little bit more of a summery, glowy, bronzy look. Um, this is a look that I would maybe do on vacation or even in the daytime if I wanted to have a little bit more um, of a glam look um, and also could work really beautifully in the evening. For me, SPF is a really, really important step in my skincare routine. I try and wear it every single day. I live in LA. This um, brand is called Image and I do love this sun cream because it really works um, as an SPF, of course, but also as a great moisturizer. Um, and great base for makeup. Quite often, you know, we have an SPF and then we try and put makeup over the top of it and your makeup sliding around. But I have tried and tested this one and I really, really do love it. So I've applied that all over my face with my other skincare products. And uh, yeah, first things, I'm gonna just put a little bit of lip balm on. I always like to put lip balm on as I'm starting my makeup so it's got a little bit of time to sink in. It's a three-in-one lip sheen. It smells amazing, I'm obsessed with this. And also looks, just looks really beautiful on its own. I always have this in my beach bag with me because it's just a nice way to have a little something on your lips without really having to deal with like a full on lip at the beach. All right, so like I've said, I've done my um, skincare um, routine so far and now I'm going to do a little bit of foundation. This is the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. It's probably one of their most famous foundations. I love this because it does exactly what it says on the tin. It gives you luminous, silky looking skin. Um, I'm not gonna do a lot actually because this is a summery look and I don't want to feel like I've got too much makeup on. And so I'm going to use my beauty blender. A really good tip that I didn't know about when I first tried a beauty blender is that it's really good to run them under water and get them a little bit damp. I find that when you're applying your foundation it just sort of smooths it out a little bit more. So I'm just really gonna apply this just really to the areas where I want a little bit more coverage. I'm now gonna just apply a little bit of Touche Clat. This product needs no introduction. It is like the OG of under eye concealers and really is probably one of the most iconic beauty products of all time. And so I'm just going to apply this under my eye here. I'm using this in number two. And then I'm going to just dab it with the Beauty Blender. I like to bring it kind of up. And I'll use whatever's left on the Beauty Blender across my eyelid as well. And that sort of gives the skin a little bit of dimension. Okay, next step, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I've already brushed them up, but I'm going to use Hourglass Arch in Blonde. I like a big bushy brow, especially for summer. So I'm just gonna brush them up again, fill them in and kind of enhance them. So I'm gonna use this gorgeous palette from NARS. This palette is called Singapore. I'm gonna use this really, really gold color at the top here and then maybe kind of bring in a little bit of depth with the brown. Um, I love this double-ended brush from Chanel. Um, I like to apply eyeshadow with a sort of flat brush like this side and then on this end is this sort of big fluffy brush to blend. Just pick it up on my brush, I'm gonna tap it away. So I always like to start my eyeshadow on the kind of outer corner, in the center and in the outer corner, and, and therefore it'll have a little bit more kind of depth to the outer edge, and then I'll bring it all the way across the eyelid. And then I like to bring it up onto my brow bone here. And when I've got like really high pigment eyeshadow like this, like a kind of like pushing technique often works best so that it's not kind of flicking all over the place. Another way to do your eyeshadow when there's a lot of pigment is to kind of start with your eyes and then to do your um, foundation after. And then I'm gonna use the fluff, fluffy side to now kind of blend this out. And I'm just gonna build a bit more and really get a golden eye. So now what I'm gonna do is add a little bit more depth. I'm gonna use my new favorite brush 
Eva from Rowan. I love this because it's got a really kind of fine tip to it here. And then a kind of really dense, um, kind of circular tip this side. So I'm going to use this little tip here um, and almost kind of use this bronzy brownie color as an eyeliner. So I'm just gonna work this into the lash line and I'm gonna bring it under my eye and then I'm gonna use the other side just to make sure it's blended. So with my eyes, when I go underneath my eye, I always try and add more depth and strength to the color to this outer corner. And just for me as well, underneath my eye, making sure it's always blended and there are no kind of too harsher lines. And then what I think I might do is use this sort of pearly rose gold kind of um, tone here and add it into my tear duct. Um, I'm actually gonna use this brush, I'm just gonna clean it off. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on my brush and then bring it here into my tear duct down into here to meet that depth that I created with the bronzy color. I'm actually liking that so much. I think I'm going to add more. So I'm going to use the bigger, bigger side now and just pick up a little bit more. And again, just bringing it into the eyelid a little bit so it's all nice and blended. This palette really is so beautiful. So I think I'm actually going to add a tiny little bit of this pink right in here onto my brow bone. And I'm just gonna use an ever so slightly a small amount of this. I think a little bit of it's gonna go a long way. And then again, taking my IT Cosmetic brush, which is just really helping me blend the edges. I'm just gonna bring this down a little bit away from my brow. All right, so now I'm just gonna kind of try and replicate exactly what I did on the other eye, and then it'll be time for some mascara. Okay, so finishing up the eye now. I'm actually, I feel like I have surpassed myself on this look. If I may say so myself. Um, and now I'm gonna add mascara. So eyelash curlers, I think this look calls for like a lot of lashes. So I'm going to use um, two mascaras from um, my Rosy Beauty line. I'm going to use um, the Length Infinity Mascara and the Divine Volume. I'm going to use the Lengthening Mascara first just to kind of build length and um, it really does lengthen and separate the lashes beautifully. So I'm gonna let that side dry and do the other side and then I'm gonna add the volume mascara. Now I'm gonna take the Divine Volume Mascara and just for a second coat kind of really add some volume. And then I'm gonna use this little uh, Tweezerman Lash Comb to just make sure they're all lovely and separated. This is really, really sharp and probably quite dangerous to use by your eyes. So just make sure you're really careful with it. And I just lightly kind of flick it through the eyes, wiggle it through the eyelashes. Okay, so I'm finished with my eye. So I um, got this palette from Troy Surratt in London. I built this palette specifically for kind of summer, um, beachy, bronzy look. So I'm gonna use the bronzy color first using this uh, lovely kind of powder bronzer brush from Chanel. And then I'm just gonna start by building this up onto my cheek. And I like to just bring my bronzer here into my cheekbones, up into my hairline, across the temples of my forehead and into my jawline and then I'm going to use the same brush to use this blush and pop that into the apples of my cheeks. All right so I'm going to add some real glow now and some real highlight and Kevin Aquan recently sent over his new summer products 
Um, this is their Glass Glow Face Illuminator Highlighter in Prism Rose. Um, I've tried this a couple of times. A tiny weeny bit of this goes a long way. So I'm literally just going to start with this little tiny amount. I'm going to apply this um, with my fingertips. It's almost like a kind of gel, but it really has this incredible glowy luminous feel and I'm just gonna apply this up here on the top of my cheekbone so now that I've applied it I feel like I can go in and add a little bit more why not I always really lean towards highlighters that have a little bit of a balm kind of look to them as opposed to a powder highlighter so I think it sort of gives a bit more of a kind of dewy, natural finish. So now I'm going to do my lip. Um, I'm going to use this uh, beautiful satin lip pencil from NARS. This is in shade Riku Jian. Um, I love these satin lip pencils from NARS because they really do just glide on. And I think this is such a pretty easy to wear colour and you can see that it has like a lovely sheen to it and then just for extra fun I thought I would apply a little bit of Patrick Tarr's new lip gloss this is she's expensive because we are and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this to the center for a little bit more of a glossy finish. So I'm gonna use a little bit of a skinnier, more precision brush for my powder today, just so I can kind of get into these areas where there's a little bit um, of shine that I wanna reduce. Um, I'm gonna use this beautiful hourglass powder. Okay, so I'm gonna leave um, it there and stop fiddling too much. I'm actually really happy with the way this look turned out. You never know how your makeup's gonna evolve throughout the time that you're doing it. I think that NARS palette really is such a beautiful palette to carry around for summer and certainly something that I would take on holiday with me. And this really truly feels like a kind of sunset eye. And then these blushy tones kind of really complement that. I actually think that this would be a look that I'd probably wear more in the evening. It took a little bit longer to do, so it's something that I would like to sit down and spend the time to do before going out to a special event in the evening. Um, but yeah. So if you guys like this video, please do subscribe to my channel. Um, and if there are any other looks that you would like to see me try or attempt to try, please do leave your comments below. Uh, we read all of them at the office. I read them. Um, we try and reply to as many as that we can that we have answers for. Um, and I will see you next time. Thanks.